What's up everybody? Welcome to today's video. We are taking a break from all things spooky and we are talking about the vacation Greg and I took back in August. Now, we flew up to Pittsburgh for a concert, down to Orlando for a cruise, and it was amazing. Now, fun little tip that I wanted to share with you guys, for about $100 total, I was able to upgrade Greg and I to business class on our flight up. I just checked two weeks before our actual flight and it was there because they were trying to get people to upgrade. So we did that, had an amazing concert, saw Def Leppard, Poison, Motley Crue, spent some time with my parents and it was just absolutely amazing. Then the next day we flew down to Orlando and had a day in Orlando. So went to the East End Market, went to Gideon's and I got some cookies along with that key lime truffle that you can see me eating. It was amazing. That's all I can say is it was amazing. Then we tried out the Lineage Coffee, which is right next to the Gideon's, and just enjoyed our day in Orlando. Then on Sunday, it was time to board. So we actually bought, it's called the Key Program. It's something like 20 something dollars per day, but one of the really big perks was we got to be one of the first people on the ship. And we've sailed on the Harmony before. Greg and I actually did our honeymoon on it so we were on Royal Caribbean's Harmony of the Seas and when we were able to start cruising again we really wanted to do it again because we loved this ship. So when you enter you're on deck five which is what they call the Royal Promenade and it really is. So it's where like the hub of all of the fun actually is. Another one of the key perks was we were actually able to drop off our carry-ons and didn't have to carry them with us. Then we walked on deck four, which essentially went through the casino to the other end so that we could uh, do some ship exploration. Wallpaper totally made me think of Haunted Mansion, but whenever you do, it's a really easy way to kind of get like through a lot of the crowd. So when you come out, you're near the ice rink, you're near the clubs, you're near the comedy center. And then instead of dealing with elevators, we took the stairs as much as we possibly could because there's about 12 total elevators and when you have 6,000 people on board, it gets busy. So we took the stairs up from deck four to deck five and we're back on the Royal Promenade. There's more clubs and bars and um, pizza and everything. So then we wanted to kind of go outside a little bit because we couldn't get into our room yet. On deck six, there is the boardwalk, which most of the Oasis class ships, Oasis, Allure, Harmony, Symphony, all of those have. They have a Starbucks, a carousel, they've got some fun little shops, they've got a 10-story slide, which we did later in the week and was awesome. They've got a Mexican guacamole place, which I haven't tried their guacamole yet, which that's the game plan. And then wanted to show you guys, so there's a full theater. There's an aqua theater, there's an ice rink. Like there is literally no way to get bored on this ship, let me tell you. Now here's one of the banks of elevators. So there's six elevators and there's four, so actually there's 24 elevators, sorry. But it gets busy. We were able to have lunch in the dining room and then we tried some of their cocktails which were fabulous, that's all I can say. And by the time we were finished with lunch and our uh, going away cocktail, it was time to set sail and we could get into our room. That evening after dinner, we did, it's called The Fine Line. It's actually their water show. And you can see it's just, it's amazing. It's kind of like Cirque du Soleil meets diving. Then we were at Coco Cay, which they call it their perfect day at Coco Cay. There's a water park, which you can see the giant water slide, hot air balloon, um, beaches galore. We actually went jet skiing. I didn't get any videos or photos of it because I didn't want to take my phone or my camera and get those all wet and have, you know, potential problems. But then we took a tram ride just around the island and we really just wanted to see because the last time we were here on our honeymoon, there wasn't a ton to do in January. So then it was time to go back to our ship. Our ship's on the left. You can see the absolutely adorable little baby sister ship on the right. And um, it's super easy. It's hard to kind of get lost, so to speak. And you have your CPASS card to get on and off. You scan it to get on and off of the ship. And there's photo recognition. So there's no way to get on the wrong ship accidentally. Then that evening for dinner, we ate at Wonderland, which is really amazing. You use a brush to you know, reveal your menu. Greg got the down the rabbit hole drink. 
and everything is just molecular gastronomy. It's like bite size, but we were, it was full filling, don't get me wrong, but it was just, it was amazing. After dinner, they had a dance party on board, which was like two or three per cruising, depending on how long you're on. We were on for a full week, and then I had to get a drink from the Bionic Bar. It's amazing. You basically build your own drink on an iPad, and then these robots make your drink for you. They mix them, they shake them, they, you know, layer everything. And when your drink is up, you scan your card, and you got a cocktail. Really, really cool. Then later on in the week, we were in Jamaica, and we did the caves and the green grottoes where they filmed a James Bond movie, which was really amazing to see. I've seen the blue grottoes in Italy um, a couple years ago, so to see these ones was, it's just amazing to me what nature can do. So then the next day after that, we were in Labadee, Haiti, which Labadee is Royal Caribbean's private beach. And we decided we wanted to go zip lining. Now, let me tell you, zip lining, it's not just any zip lining. We actually went across the island, <laughs> which was absolutely amazing. And not only did we go zip lining that way, we went Superman style. That evening, they had a 70s disco dance party, which we got our groove on. And then the next morning, we found this hidden gem on deck eight for breakfast. And it was amazing. Later that day, in addition to things to do on board, we went ziplining on the cruise ship. Go figure. So when you're ready to search for pirates in the Caribbean or just ready to get your cruise on, let me know and I'll help you plan your cruise of a lifetime. Thank you so much for following along today, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Stay spooky, everybody.